Hi there, Colin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Thinkific SSO for WordPress plugin. I'm going to assume that you've downloaded and activated the plugin, and as you can see from my instance here, uh, it's active, installed, and ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is to activate the license, and to do that, we're going to move to settings here on the left hand side and click Thinkific SSO. This will open our settings page, and we'll need to first paste in the license key which we would have received when we purchased the plugin. Uh, once I've pasted in the license key, I'm going to click Save Changes. And once this occurs, my, my uh, license should be activated. If I do a quick refresh, we can see yes, our license is activated. And we also have a deactivate button here if required. The next steps are going to be in your Thinkific Instructor dashboard. So if you need to, pause the video now, go ahead and log in, and we'll pick up the video there. Okay, so here we are in the API section of the code and analytics area of your settings. To get to this particular page, you're going to click settings on the left hand side, then click code and analytics, and then finally click API. And you should see a screen similar to this. There's two settings we're going to have to take here for our plugin. The first is the API key and the other is the subdomain. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my API key and coming back into my WordPress instance, I'm going to paste that into the clickable box here. I happen to know my subdomain, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And remember, this is the domain of your Thinkific site, not your C domain or custom domain. So for example, if you're using a custom domain like learn.example.com, uh, you're going to be using the one that Thinkific has given you, and it's the subdomain that is listed in the settings pages of your instructor dashboard. So once I've entered those settings here, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. You'll see that my settings have now been saved. So now that we have the, uh, the plugin completely set up, it's now time to test the shortcode. And to do that, I'm going to open a new post and we'll pick up the video right there. Okay, so here we are in a brand new post on WordPress. And before we get started, I need to remind you, you'll need to make sure that your plugin is downloaded, installed and activated. You've entered your license key and you've also entered the details from your Thinkific Instructor dashboard. If you haven't done that, now would be a great time to pause the video and do it. And then you can follow along with the tutorial here. So I've created a brand new post, I'm going to call it Thinkific, and in the first block, I'm just going to write in Thinkific SSO. And what that is, is that is the basic shortcode for this particular plugin. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish, and what I have, I'm going to go ahead and view the post. As you can see, what happened is a link has been generated that logged me directly into my Thinkific site. If I go ahead and copy and paste this link and I'm going to open an incognito window here and paste it, you'll notice that I've been brought directly into my Thinkific school. I've been logged in and because I was incognito, there's no cookies, no browsers, so I've been logged directly in. An important note to mention here is, is that if a user who does not have an account in your Thinkific school uses one of these links, they, an account will be automatically generated for them. If I choose the settings here and click my account, you can see that I have an email and first and last name that is brought in from WordPress. Uh, the reason it's flywheel.local is because I'm using a local development instance for this particular video. Uh, in your case, it will be the email address and name of the person and their account in your WordPress site. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that incognito window and I'm going to show you another example. So let's go ahead and edit the page. I'm going to remove that shortcode and let's just write a quick line saying ready to log in and then say click here. And that click here, we're going to make into a link. So I'm going to choose command K, which will bring up my link uh, box for WordPress. I'm going to write in my shortcode again, but this time I'm going to add a parameter called prefix, prefix equals false. And I'm also going to choose to open in a new tab and click return. It's very important that you add in the prefix equal to false. The reason for this is when uh, WordPress creates a link, it automatically adds in HTTP or HTTPS. And if you omit the prefix equal to false, it'll be doubled up and the link won't work. So let's go ahead and update that particular page. But we'll once again, open it. And we can see now that it's available to log in. If we hover over it, I'm gonna say once again, open an incognito window. You can see that we've been logged directly back into my Thinkific school. If I choose my account and look again at my settings, you can see that my first and last name is as it was in WordPress and my email is the same. Once again, because this is an incognito window, remember there's no cookies, no sessions. So what's happened here is I've clicked a link from my WordPress site and it's brought me directly into Thinkific. I haven't had to log in. I don't need to remember username and password. I'm brought directly there. So a great use case for that particular shortcode is, for example, if you have an account dashboard for a user, they can go into your, their user account on your WordPress site and log directly in. 
So that's a very quick overview of the plugin for WordPress. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. There's also ample documentation on our site. If you have any feature requests, please feel free to ask me. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to hear from you very soon.